All right, everybody. Um, today I'm going to review my Batman the Animated Series Magnets. Um, we're going to start off with Batman. Um, this, this is the whole series that they came out with. I don't know if they came out with the second one. I don't think they did because there were a few more characters they could have done. But currently these are, you know, the characters they have. Um, obviously, yeah, Batman voiced by Kevin Conroy. Um, Kevin Conroy is iconic. He's done video games, movies, TV. Um, when I read Batman, his voice is what I hear. So obviously I'm a huge fan of his. Then we have... Joker, who was um, obviously voiced by Mark Hamill. Same with him. He's done Joker for the video games. He's done it for movies, TV. Um, very iconic as well. I don't know how much he's doing it anymore. He's trying to like do different things, but also obviously iconic. And then Robin. What's interesting about Robin is the first animated series episode to win an Emmy was was actually Robin's Reckoning. I originally thought it was Heart of Ice, but it was actually Robin's Reckoning. And what's cool about that episode is it's Robin going after the guy who killed his parents. And in the episode, his name is Tony Zuko. And the line that sticks out for me in that episode is he's on the radio with Batman. And he just yells at him and says, Zuko's mine. And that's, for some reason, that line always sticks out in my head as being just a really cool like Robin moment for that show. You got Two-Face. I loved the design of Two-Face for the show. You had the black and the white. You had the black and white hair, the blue face. It just it looked awesome. I just can't say enough and about the actor, the voice actor who did him. I'm not sure exactly who that was, but I, he did a really great job. So we got Catwoman as well. She she did, she had one, I'm trying to think how many episodes she had. She had at least four or five episodes. She's pretty good. They changed her design a little bit when they did the new Adventures of Batman, but overall, um, good design, nice sleek design with real good stuff. Batgirl, Batgirl had, it was Barbara Gordon, and in the original animated series, she had about three, I think she appeared in three episodes as Batgirl, so. Um, and she also did appear in the movie um, Sub-Zero with Mr. Freeze. And then you got Mr. Freeze. Um, episode that everyone talks about is Heart of Ice. It completely changed the origin story for Mr. Freeze so much so that that actually became Mr. Freeze's origin story in the actual comic books because it was so, so popular and so well done. Um, hats off to the creators of uh, the animated series for coming up with it because it's, it's obviously become his origin. Penguin, solid character. Nothing super special about him. Um, he's, he appears in a number of episodes. Good character all, all around. The interesting thing about him is he never goes to Arkham Asylum. He actually goes to actual prison. Like when he goes to prison, or when he goes to jail, he's going to prison. All the other characters go to Arkham except for him because he's just an actual gangster that looks like a penguin. So I always thought that was fun. And you got the Riddler. Pretty much a basic um, magnet, him just standing there. He only appears in three episodes in the animated series, which is honestly really surprising because I always loved the Riddler character, but he really, I don't think he even debuts until like the second season. And then he has a couple more episodes and then that's it. And so very limited use of the Riddler. Um, maybe that was a good thing, but I was all three episodes he's in, I really liked. Then you got Clayface. Fe um, originally start was in a two part episode called Feet of Clay. Um, very iconic. The uh, scene in the end of the second episode where he's just turning to a bunch of different characters. The animation that was done was spectacular. I'm, I think he may have won an Emmy, but I'm not 100% sure. But it was just so well done. And that character has become more famous because of the show as well. And then you have... <laughs> Harley Quinn, who was originally created for the TV show and has become such a big star. It's just kind of amazing when you think about it that this little side character that was created in an episode, it was called The Joker's Favor, where Joker was making this guy do something that he didn't want to do and help him out with something. And he decided, the creators of the anime series decided that Joker should have a, a sidekick. And they came up with Harley Quinn. And... Obviously, today we all know who Harley Quinn is. She's become that character has become a big star, and it's just it's kind of amazing. Scarecrow. The interesting thing about this Scarecrow is the very first episode was 
Scarecrow, and it was this style. But then immediately after this episode, the, that episode, they kind of changed the style to a more scarier, menacing looking Scarecrow. Um, they just did it almost immediately. So it's kind of interesting that for the magnet, maybe because it was easier, they decided to do the original outfit. But that's not how he ended up looking as the series progressed. Poison Ivy, classic, a basic, um, obviously created before the animated series, but um, really streamlined her for the animated series and made it look, she's a good character in a number of episodes. Um, she originally starts off by trying to poison Harvey Dent. I, I think because she, he destroyed a, an area of land for a prison that destroyed these endangered plants. And so she was trying to get revenge on him. So obviously plant lover since the very beginning. Of course, you got the Batmobile, iconic style, one of the coolest, sleekest for sure. Um, can't say much, enough about it. Awesome vehicle. And then the last image is, um, there's two different Batman styles. Um, there's obviously one of him standing, one of him diving down. A couple of the ones, Magnus, they could have done that they didn't do, like Killer Croc, Ra's al Ghul, uh, um, Jim Gordon, so Alfred. So there's, if they ever came with the second series, they have options, but that's all of them for now. All right, until next time, bye.